Hello, welcome back to Just Car Rob, and we've got the bird. Our little grumpy hawk here, a little grumpy bird hawk guy. Okay, everybody, I guess everybody wants to see me uh, carve bark on the bird's tree here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to fire up the noisemakers and do the voiceover. All right? All right. Are you sure? Yeah. Positive? Yeah. What do you think about that? All right. Is it all right? It's all right. All right. Let's get at it. Bah! All right, so we're going to be using the Micro Carver. It's a Master Car Pro Micro Carver. We're using a Cut Saw Original Coarse Taper Burr. And we're cutting the lines into the bark. We're making those, uh, let's use some big words like Ben over at Studio on the Lake. We're going to delineate our bark on here. And the circles in the tree, with uh, we're going to delineate the tree rings on there, uh, separate them out. We're going to work that bark down. We're putting the heavy, uh, heavier lines in it using the cut saw, coarse, silver, taper burr. And we'll uh, work that all the way around. <laughs> Shop inspector. Then we're going to uh, <laughs> shop inspector. Be quiet. <laughs> I know you don't like the voiceover. Be quiet. Then we're going <laughs> to. Hey. Then we're going to. <laughs> well, she really does not like the voiceover. <laughs> Man, everybody is a critic. Even the dog is a critic. She don't like the voiceover, I guess. Uh, where was I? Cut saw extreme silver. Nope, it's not extreme. It's just a silver course spur. And uh, we're going to put rocks. Rocks around the bottom. And then we will come back with the... Uh, we're going to start off with the razor tip wood burner. And that will shortly aggravate me. And then I will switch over to my cheap Chinese $50 wood burner. I choose to use that over the three digit wood burner cost over three digits for the uh razor tip so i keep switching back to that old i think i paid 55 bucks for it digital control heats up quick the only bad thing is that the handpiece gets warm after about 15 minutes so you gotta set it down and then you can go back to the uh razor tip i guess not i know everybody loves their razor tips everybody's got one uh, I guess I was spoiled by getting this high amp output Chinese one. Uh, everybody's got their own preferences. I like the cheap old Chinese one. Okay, so you can see we're cutting rocks in. We're smoothing them over. And then we will take a hammer to them to give them some texture. Give them some texture so they're not so flat. We've got a miniature ball peen hammer to uh, bang on the rocks. And uh, the shop inspector don't like that neither. She tends to get a little yappy about it. A little yappy. And we'll get this all shaped up. Uh, see Ben's making smoothies over there at uh, Studio on the Lake. I like strawberry and banana smoothies, Ben. Not too much on bird smoothies. Uh, yeah. Unless, I guess it'd be okay if you put a, cook a pheasant and put it in a blender. That'd be a pretty good bird smoothie. So you can see we're shaping these rocks down here. And getting that all, getting them all set in place. We're not making them perfectly round because rocks in the, <laughs> organic, free range rocks, organic rocks, free range rocks are not all round. <laughs> So, if you ever see some free-range rocks coming to you, get out of the way, because they hurt. Free-range rocks. And we're just going to pile them up here. I was going to do the tree with great big wide roots, but then I'd have to hollow out the middle, and this is balsa wood, and it will break, so... Rocks. 
Yep, we're going to put rocks down there. But yeah, uh, yeah, if you guys are wandering around in the woods, beware of the free-range rocks. Organic rocks hurt. And we put some big rocks, and we put some little rocks, and we got to say hi to Jordy over at Carbon Fusion. Hi, Jordy. Over there at Carbon Fusion, you and your crazy birdhouses. I'm not doing no birdhouses quite yet, Jordy, because we don't got no birds in Michigan. Um... If they come back this time of year, they better bring uh, snowshoes with them. Because uh, we're getting more snow today. We, we're, we get a, a lovely thing out here in Michigan called lake effect snow. Anybody who lives by the lake knows what lake effect snow is. It's snow that nobody else in the country gets. And it really, 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 I don't like it. Glenn, Glenn Frankenstone, I don't like it. Okay, so we're taking the old boot brush to the bird. Cleaning off some of that char that we got from when we burned them. And the shop inspector, she must have found it, something outside to bark at. Now she's out there barking. Something must be aggravating her. Now we'll go check on her after we brush this bird off. Okay, so you can see how it lightened up the color a little bit. And it does help take some of the fuzzies off. Now we have the razor tip wood burner. And we're going to go through here and we're going to wood burn all these lines. Now, don't fall asleep. Wake up. I know this is uh, boring, boring. Watching me burn wood. Yep. Um, I can carve. Hey, Bap, we haven't said hi to you in a long time, Bap. Uh, when are we going to go on a walkout, walk out, uh, walkabout again there, Bap? Uh, I don't know what... what uh, your weather is over there in Ireland if it's winter, spring, summer, or fall over there. It's definitely winter here in Michigan. Uh, so, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that walkabout that you gave us there, Bap. You need, need to take us out fishing, too. Go catch some crabs or something. Nothing like crabs. And shrimps. Shrimps. And prime rib. Yeah. My favorite meal. Shrimps and prime rib. Haven't had no prime rib lately. Because uh, if you all remember last summer. I was working on my truck. And the uh, torque wrench slipped with a bar on it. And smacked me in the mouth. And knocked out my front teeth. So steak has not been on the menu. Shrimps. Yes. Yes. You can gum shrimps. Gum them right chomp them right up uh prime rib nope not so much okay so now i'm switching over to the old el cheapo and we got her turned up to uh it goes up to a hundred percent we have it at 50 percent and you can see how much faster this is over the razor tip carver now, I've tried all kinds of tricks with that razor tip. I've got the heavy-duty cables. I got the lighter wire, blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. And uh, this El Cheapo here will outburn it two to one. The only problem, like I said, with the cheap one, guys, is that it does get warm. So pay attention to that. And we have to say hi to Spike and Anna and Claire and Jordy and uh, Cleve over there at Cleve's Backyard Woodworking and uh, Kevin over there at Sticks and Stones. He has uh, gone dark on us. Haven't heard nothing from him in about a month. Uh, all right, so here we go. We're going to keep on rocking. All right, guys, that's it for the wood burning part. Wood burn around our little rocks down here. We wood burnt the bark. Uh, the rocks look a little too smooth to me. So I got this tiny ball peen hammer. And I'm tapping these rocks, giving them some texture. It gives them that, uh, like a rolling effect, right? Because you're putting these little dimples in it. Yep. So a little trick I do you guys really can't see it but these rocks have got big dimples in them now so uh shop inspector what are you carrying on about I know you think somebody's knocking on the door don't you 
Don't you? you Want to say hi to the people? Say hi. Say hi. Now you're going to be quiet. How about by knock on the table? Who's that? There you go. Okay. Shop inspector guard dog. <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. Yeah, rah, rah, rah. I think that's a, enough dent in the rocks. Okay, so next we move on to paint. Now, what I'm going to do first with this guy is I am going to uh, come back here. We're going to mod podge him, right? Because this wood is so soft and easy to chip. Matter of fact, I did a little chipping on a rock there when I was pounding on it with a hammer. So easy to uh, chip. We're going to go ahead and uh, take some Mod Podge. And we're gonna, I'm going to water it down a little bit. So that it really has a good chance uh, by thinning it out to get sucked into that wood. And uh, so we'll Mod Podge it. And then we will go ahead and... Uh, let him sit overnight and let him dry and we'll get back to painting and we'll get into painting them okay all right so I know you guys don't want to watch painting videos so I won't I won't terrorize you with the painting video um, so as always share subscribe like be awesome carve something awesome guys I know you can do it because I can do it all right all right Say bye, bird. Bye. Say bye, bird. Bye. All right. Catch you on the next one.